Hello, welcome to our video series of system Verilog for verification. This video is a continued version of our previous video interface part one. In the, our previous video, we have learned what is an interface, why do we need interfaces, how to access interface signals, and what are external ports in an interface. In this video, interface part two, I will explain two important topics. First is what is a mod port and second is how do we define generic interface ports in system Verilog? So first I will start with mod ports. So typically when we define an interface, we define the signals it contains. And in that we generally do not define what are the directions of that interface signals. Like whether it is a, it will be used as an input port in a module or whether will it will be used as an output port when it is connected in, in, in a module. So generally interface signals are bi-directional. So any module can read and write those interface signals. But in a practical scenario, a connection between two modules will always have a direction associated with it. So let's take an example of a transmitter and a receiver module. So transmitter would send data over the connection and receiver would read the information. So when if we want, would want to connect these transmitter and receiver modules using an interface, then the interface signals should be used as an output in the transmitter since transmitter will send the data and those interface signals should be used as an input in the receiver since in receiver would read the information. So, in practical scenario, we would want to specify that certain signals in interface should only be used as inputs or outputs in a certain module. So, let's see how we can do that uh, in our system dialog interface. So, we can achieve this by using mod ports in system Verilog. So, let's see how we can do that uh, using mod ports. So, when we define a mod port keyword, we can create the subset of those interface signals and we can specify directions also for the signals. So let's understand more this with an example. So here I have defined three mod ports, mod port master, slave and subset. So if I am want to access this mod port master using interface bus in a module, then uh, that module will have only write access to sig uh, interface signal address and interface signal read write. So it would restrict the access of writing to interface signal ac acknowledge. Similarly, if I access the interface bus using mod port slave, then that module will have write access to uh, signals acknowledge and data but it won't have write access to input signals address and read write. So this, this is how by defining the mod put keyword, we can restrict that which module can define use an interface signal as an input or an output. One more use case of mod put is that in an interface, there are a lot of signals defined. And suppose if we want a module uh, to access only a few signals, uh, only a few interface signals. So we want to hide some data from that module. So in that case, also we can use mod port. So here I have defined a mod port subset. So when a module access the interface bus using this mod port subset, then it will be only able to access the interface signal address and data. It will re restrict access to other interface signals like acknowledge and read write. So while defining the directions for the selected signals in interface, we do not need to declare the data type and size again. So here we have seen that, that using mod put keyword, we can create the subset of the interface signals and we can specify directions for the signals as well. So here we have seen how, uh, what are mod puts and how we can use them. So in this slide, we have seen that how we can define the mod puts in an interface. In the next slide, I will explain how we can select these interface mod ports in our module. 
so uh, there are two ways for selecting the mod ports so while defining a module or or while instantiating the module we would want to define that which interface mod port it would want to use so there are two ways through which we can do it first is we can select the mod port while defining the module itself and second is we can select the mod port in the module instantiation so here i have declared two modules module name and module processor i want to uh, use mod port master of interface bus in module processor and for module mem i want to use mod port slave of interface bus so here when i am declaring the module mem the first step is i would declare the list of ports used in this module and the interface comes as one of the ports so while declaring the interface port there itself i can declare Uh, which mod port this interface would be using so here i have declared the interface name bus and uh, mod port name and the variable name it would use so bus dot slave would suggest that we can only use slave mod port of interface bus similarly while defining the module processor in its port declaration itself i have defined uh, the mod port type as master so that processor can use mod will be using mod port master of interface bus now the third uh, now this is where we are instantiating our modules since here we have selected our mod ports while defining our module itself so when i am instantiating our modules mem and processor in module tab top we do not have the option to change the mod ports of our modules so here memory will always be using mod port slave of interface bus and module processor will always be using mod port master of interface bus and suppose if i want to uh, use different instance of module and i want to change my mod port selection in every instance then how we can do that that can also that that we will see in our second method that we can also select our mod ports during our module instantiation itself so here when i am defining our module mem and module processor here i have not specified which mod port it will be using i have only uh, defined that it will be using a bus interface no mod port has been specified yet so when i will be instantiating uh, these modules in our module top here i can specify which mod port it can use so here memory will be using mod port slave and cpu will be using mod port master similarly i can create other instances of module mem and processor and instead of slave i can give master or any other mod port also so this makes our selection of mod port more generic so that while instantiation any instance of our module can use any mod port type so this is how we can select our mod port so this is also our previous problem also like in the first example we would we were not able to change our mod ports during the instantiation so here in the instantiation itself uh, we can change our or define our mod ports in the next slide i will explain what is a generic interface port so before moving to the next slide i will explain what is a type specific interface port so up till now whatever example you have seen we have seen only the example of type specific interface only so here if you see that for using interface bus while declaring the module ports like the while declaring the module ports of module mem we were providing the data type as interface name that is bus so instead of that we can use keyword interface also so let's see how suppose uh, we have two interface interface apb and interface usb so uh, like we have seen in our previous code that uh, in specific interface ports the port is declared using the name of that particular interface and in generic interface port instead of using the port name we can de declare that port using interface keyword also 
so that any type of interface can be connected to that port. So let's see using an example. So here I have defined a, defined a module bridge. So unlike our previous example, instead of giving the interface name here while declaring the ports, I am using interface keyword. So in this module top, when I am instantiating this module bridge B1, so here, uh, uh, when I am connecting the interface, I can connect interface of type APB also or interface of type USB also. But in specific interface ports, if we see that uh, here I have defined a module bridge and in that I have defined that bus A is of interface type APB and bus B is of interface is also of interface type APB. So uh, when I am instantiating this bridge in a module top, so during the interface connections here, bus A I have connected with APB1 and bus B also I have connected with APB2, which is of interface type APB. Since uh, uh, here we have already declared that our interface should be of type APB, so this is a correct way. But in the next statement, I have defined, I have instantiated the bridge B2 where I have connecting connected our bus B with USB 1, which is of interface type USB. But in while uh, declaring the interface as a port, I have defined that bus B should be of type interface APB. So that's how in specific interface ports, it restricts that whatever interface type we have defined uh, in our module port declaration, only those interface can be connected while instantiating the module. While in generic interface port, since we have used the keyword interface, any in any type of interface that like here we have two types of interface APB and USB and here we have created three instances two of APB and one of USB. So USB and APB both can be used connected to our bus A or bus B interface of our module bridge while instantiating it. So this is how generic uh, interface provides a more, more option where we can where any type of interface can be connected to our port. So in this video, we have learned what is our mod port and how we can select our mod ports in our module and what is a generic interface ports uh, and how we can uh, use it in system Verilog. Thank you.